Creative Digital Marketing Agency. Um, so I started my first business when I was 15. Um, started a few others from then. It was, was a gym clothing company, and then I worked with friends on like making controllers for Xboxes and silly little things like that. And eventually worked with Unlock, went through the Enterprise Academy, and started this company called Digital Dinos. Uh, we work with a number of companies, big, small, and we create websites, apps, branding, social media management, but our main aim is to create a network of students across the country that we can work with to work in partnership with those companies and provide the best services at lower prices. Um, so for me, the, the moment to start Digital Dinos came when I met uh, our other two directors, Reese and Hayden and realise our skills sort of aligned because one of the businesses I used to run was a social media workshop mm. so I'd get small businesses in and teach them how to do social media to market themselves and Hayden had a background in websites and hosting so did Reese in almost everything techy, you're great at coding and all of our skills kind of aligned there and he was a marketing manager as it was anyway so we decided to um, start a business together from there. Um, so for me the main reason I dropped out was I thought that Digital marketing is such a growing and rapid industry that in three, four years' time, I doubt this opportunity will still be there. Whereas I can still go back to university in that time, but I don't want to miss this. And I also thought, to be honest, I learn a lot more in practice. I'm, I'm someone that learns a lot more by putting things into practice than in the classroom. So that was for me the reason I dropped out. Um, and the reason I wanted to be an entrepreneur is I just always love solving problems and working on projects and, and sort of fine tuning things like that and models and seeing how things work. So um, for me, I think that's the reason I, I enjoy it. Probably for me it was actually when I was like younger and I was used to make Xbox controllers and yeah, stuff. Yeah. And I like taught myself how to do it, how to take them all apart and how it worked and then paint them up and customise them stuff and I was selling them to my friends. And like the first one of those I sold and I was really enjoying it. I was enjoying the fact that I was in control of what I was doing and where I was going with my life and what I was earning and things like that. And making that first sale was a really big, really big thing for me. Yeah, so um, probably to be honest with you, our biggest failure was in sales, we just didn't have the know-how, we had the know-how of the industry and the knowledge of how our services work, but sales is a completely different animal, you can't just jump into a business and expect to sell. And we broke the sort of the stereotypical 90 day rule, we stopped prospecting uh, months and months ago and felt it three months later. And that's when we realised that we're doing something wrong here, we sat down, at the time we didn't know that's what we did wrong, we just thought the business was broken or something, so we sat down, did a load of research, just read a load of books and spoke to people in the industry, found that that was what was wrong and just completely overhauled how we sell. We had meetings on meetings and we had meetings last night from about 6 to 11 at night to work out how we're going to sell and how we can upsell clients and things like that and move forward. So for us, I think that's our biggest failure. Um, I think instead of entrepreneurship, I'd work in something like, uh, I'd want to work in something like Formula One, that's what I've always liked, just because it's a, in the same way it's like fine tuning things, see how close you can get it to get better and better each time. And I really enjoy things like that. Um, I think for me, yeah, that might be the, the only place I'd really enjoy working. Um, okay. Yeah, that's really it. Um, I think, to be honest, virtual reality is something that hasn't really been used too much in marketing yet because it's so new. Um, I was reading something actually the other day about a company, I think, in America that are using VR, so if you want to plan a wedding, instead of taking you to an empty room and walking you around saying this is where this would go, they literally create it, stick a headset on you and you're, you're at your wedding, and if that's not selling the product to you, it's not quite marketing, but if that's not selling the product to you, then I don't know what is, and that easily translates into digital marketing, and, and uh, there's got to be endless ways we can use that, which we're looking at now. I think uh, companies like Social Chain, if you, you know, Steve, um, Bartlett, Bartlett, that's it, Steve Bartlett, I think he's done amazing things for himself um, and the company, really, the way it works and the culture there is amazing and that's something we're trying to replicate in a way but obviously we don't be exactly the same, the way that we work is different but to get to where he is at such a young age and be so influential and, I mean, he's a digital marketing company and he's managed to get his personal brand to be the front of it which is just ideal and he's grown so quickly, um, I think for me some, somewhere around there. Um, for us, it's getting ready for investment and learning about how that process works because it's such a learning curve. Like We've never done anything like it before. We've never had to write a business plan in so, so much detail, but the learning from it will be invaluable. I mean, we've had business plans that are super long, but 
not exactly what they should have been with not with such a full cast of A1. Um, and for us, that's one of the biggest challenges. This month is crazy. We've got to get ready within about a month. And um, trying to keep up with that, all of our services, the sales that are coming in from now that we've overhauled our sales processes, it's just so busy, but we're enjoying it and we're learning a lot. Thank you.